What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel man. So today, this is gonna be part two to my first video about setting up my 55 gallon fish tank. So if you haven't seen that, check it out right there. But man, today is the day where I get to go out and pick my fish. Uh, so if you saw the last video, you saw that I got set up, got the water uh, tested and acclimated, and I got a test fish. Now, this test fish was put in there for the purpose of making sure that the water parameters were good, um, that everything was good, and that the fish survived. The fish survived, and it means that we were good to go for uh, you know these African cichlids. Um, they're not they're not cheap fish, so starting off with the test of fish was a way to kind of make sure I didn't you know waste my money and buy fish that wouldn't last. So. Yeah, man, kind of messed up process. That's what the aquarium store told me to do, but the fish has, has been doing great. Um, I'm going to get some African cichlids. Um, that's what I decided to do is between, you know, South American cichlid or African cichlid. I feel like African cichlid kind of matched what I was going for. It's are strictly vegetarian, so, um, you know, I get the fish food for them, but also I can feed them like green beans and peas and zucchini and things like that. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, and I like their personality. So... Mbanas are uh, cave dwellers, uh, so they like to you know crawl or swim in and out of caves, and they kind of have a, a different personality. They're actually very territorial, so that comes with a lot of aggression. But uh, with you know setting up the tank properly and uh, you know monitoring them and putting in the right uh, species of the Mbanas cichlids, um, you know you can prevent that kind of stuff. So this is my first time getting into the hobby, but you know I've been doing a lot of research and. Um, I've kept fish before, so I pretty much know how to how to monitor and you know rearrange tanks when things get uh, messy, things like that. So yeah, that's what's going on, man. I don't want to drag it on too long because many guys want to get in and see what these fish that I'm doing, but I kind of want to give you a background information on you know the research I've been doing and the kind of cichlids that I'm going to get. So that's the plan, man. I want to get a bunch of cichlids. Um, I'm not really sure which type I want to get, but yeah, man. Um, yeah, I guess we'll talk more about what the plan is going to be on the way to the fish store. So that's what we're going to do. But first, I want to kind of show you guys what the fish tank looks like right now. So maybe a little different from the last time that you guys saw it. But I did some repainting of the stand because I told you I got this from Marketplace. So it has some scuffs on it. And I kind of repainted the base of the fish tank as well. So it, it looks a lot more cleaner. But uh, yeah, man, this is the decorations currently. Uh, really cool like this, but it probably won't stay like this because of that territorial issue amongst the, the uh, Bona Cichlid. So, yeah, man, I'm going to add some more Texas Texas Live Holy Rock so they can make their own, uh, you know, territories amongst the tank. And uh, hopefully we won't have any issues. Now, this Daniel, I don't know where he went. There he is. Hope you can see it. The Daniel is the tester fish, but they're community fish. So, um, it's been hiding a lot because it kind of feels vulnerable being by itself in this big tank. So hopefully with the Mbana cichlids, it won't cause too much drama with it. I think they can survive with them. Um, and yeah, we'll kind of just go from there. So I'm going to Keller Fish Farms out here in Keller, Texas, which is the suburb of Dallas. So um, you guys just run down right now what's going to happen. So like I said, I'm getting the Mbuna cichlid. Um, I'm trying to figure out which, which variation of the Mbuna I'm going to get. I also need to figure out how many I'm going to get today because when you're in a cichlid game, um, you typically want to overcrowd your tank. I don't know how much I would I would like to overcrowd, but what I'm going to do, man, I may order some offline if I don't see a lot of variations within the store today, but I'm definitely getting my starter fish from this fish store. So, and I want to get them at a juvenile age so they're small and grow up together and they don't have to like worry about, you know, big fish coming in and dominating before other fish grow to their maturity so um, I know to stay away from like um, the bumblebee cichlid the yeah, toro I think it's called or like the disamani that's what I heard but I'm just gonna you know go off my own instinct you can't look if you spend your time listening to what every advice that every other person tells you you're gonna be stressed out and just feel like you don't have a decision of your own so yes I'm a uh, keeping everything that people say with a grain of salt as people have had experience within this but this was part of the hobby man you got to figure out you know what what works for you you got to trial and error different things so all i know is i'm getting bonus cichlids i don't know how many don't know which ones but that's the joy of this video you guys get to go in the process with me so that's what's happening man i'll tap in with you guys once we get to the actual fish store all right guys so i just told you i was headed to keller fish farms unfortunately they're closed on wednesdays which 
I should have probably looked that up. I knew I seen what time they're open, but I didn't see that they were closed today. So, uh, so I decided to drive a little bit further down the street and uh, come to a different fish store, kind of see what they had going on. Um, it's a lot bigger store, so I'm assuming I'm gonna see a lot more options, maybe. Um, and being that you know I, I'm overstocking the fish tank, uh, I can go to Kelly Fish Farm, you know, the next time I go to get some fish. So uh, that's what's happening. I'm sitting outside right now because uh, they open at 12. And it's currently like 11.40, so I'm going to just chill out here, eat some food or something until it's open up. So that's what's happening. Yeah, so this store is a lot bigger than the other one. There's like fish tanks all over the place. So currently I'm in a cichlid aisle right now, so I'm going to look at these cichlids and kind of figure out which one I'm going to get. But I don't know which ones are in Bruno and which ones are not. Figure out which size I'm gonna go for and which types of uh, cichlids because uh, they're not broken up into um, the breed or the types. They're kind of all mixed together. So uh, being that they're such a juvenile age, I don't know if I'm gonna worry too much about which kind I'm gonna get. But I kind of just want to show you guys what they're looking like right now. What they look like for size. So. This is probably the size that I'm gonna get right now to start off. So they can grow up together. But uh, they're gonna get as big as these. So like uh, that guy right there, they're gonna be as big as that. So I wanna keep that in mind when I <laughs> go ahead and choose them. But yeah. Back from the pet store, man, I did not get a chance to talk too much when I was getting them. But I got them now, man, and here they are, man. I don't know if you can even see them that well, but I have six of them to start off. Don't want to get too many at one time, and I want to go to Keller Fish Farms to actually talk to them about the next batch because this fish store was, was big, but um, the person I was working with wasn't too knowledgeable on everything I could tell. She didn't really know the difference between the type of cichlids. So I didn't want to get too many and then up maybe one of them are like a peacock or something. And I got something I didn't want to get. So I think these are all in Buna cichlids. I'm not sure which variation of them they are, so I'm not sure about the aggression level, but they're all relatively around the same size. My yellow lads are the smallest ones. And then I got three different ones. One's like a, a hybrid. And I can't tell what the other two are, but the hybrid is gonna be the biggest one. So I'm assuming, I'm assuming that's gonna be the tank boss until the rest of them grow out in size and they figure that all out. But yeah, man, that's what's going on. So I'm gonna get them acclimated to the tank. Like 78 ish degrees, I can't really tell, but I'm gonna warm it up a little bit for them. I'm gonna get them in here, get acclimated. So Daniel was kind of nervous. Let's see how it goes, man. Now you get a better look at what what they are. Yeah, I got three labs. Some striped looking one. I got like an electric blue looking one. And then that big boy right there. Are you ready to get out? Yeah, these are the fish, man. We got six to start off. Um, they didn't have a lot of rock, so I'm gonna leave these for now. Being that they're so small, they'll be able to go in and out of stuff with no issue right now. But definitely, as I get older, I'm gonna get some Texas live rock and kind of swap it out, man. But all right, so I'm about to let these guys out into the tank. I thought it'd be pretty cool to kind of show you guys how that looks. Uh, but obviously, they're right here acclimating. I showed you guys a video of them sitting in there, but. Um, I'm finding out the names of all these fish right now and I find out, you know, the aggression levels kind of let you guys know, but like I said, usually in the wild, when it comes to snakes and frogs and things like that, the brighter the colors, the crazier the patterns, usually the more dangerous that animal or fish is. So I'm not sure what kind of fish that striped one is, but I feel like 
It might be a bad boy, man. I don't know. Daniel is somewhere around here. So I'm not gonna sure how that comes into play with hiding spots. Like I said, I'm gonna change around these these hiding spots and uh, get some more rock because it'd be easier for them to create their own territory. But since they're so small, I don't think it should be too much of an issue. But yeah, that's what's going on. You see these guys are kind of chilling right now. Wake up a little bit. But yeah. All right guys, so I got the fish acclimating right now behind me. Um, I don't know what kind of fish, what kind of cichlids these are. I know they're in Buna cichlids, but I'm not sure which variation of Ibunas they are. Um, didn't get any variations that are too bad. Um, I know the yellow labs are pretty good, pretty mellow. Um, then that big one's like a, a mixed variation, so it's really no telling with that one. Um, but that electric blue looking one and that crazy striped colored one, I'm not. Get the big guy out first. guys make sure that there's no um issues like i said i gotta get some i have to get some um some more decorations soon but being that they're so small i would hope that they have enough space to do what they gotta do but um yeah i'm assuming that they go ahead and try to establish their hierarchy right now um yeah guys so that's pretty much all for the video today I want to show you guys the new fish that I got. I'm gonna be adding more fish to the aquarium uh, later on as well as doing some different decorations, but I'll save that for another video. So um, I appreciate you guys being here to the end of the video. Um, I think it's pretty cool to kind of show you guys the process with me and um, I'm definitely gonna create more videos like this. So stay tuned for the next one and also check out my channel and see the other things that I do, uh, filmmaking, um, do a lot of things with cars, uh, just vlogs and things like that. So yeah, man, check out the channel if you like that. Uh, subscribe if you like this video make sure you hit a like um, you know let me know in the comments what you think about the tank what you think about the fish and kind of let me know you know what you think I see you next but um yeah man I appreciate you guys being here to the end of the video and until next time I'll see you guys peace out